Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon and we're gonna talk about the BBC facing oblivion. Oblivion, according to former Doctor Who showrunner Russell T Davies, he said the BBC is doomed, it's over, it's game over. So if you were wondering whether or not Doctor Who was, was gonna get canceled, I don't know guys, it's not looking too good long term for Doctor Who. Before we get into it, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We're over 176,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. We do talk about Doctor Who occasionally. Uh, we talk about pop culture, we talk about movies, we talk about animation, we talk about other TV shows, comic books, kind of whatever interests us that day. And we did talk a lot more about Doctor Who when uh, I actually cared. I don't really care much about Doctor Who at this point. Uh, I was completely appalled by the retcon in the last season that they had uh, rewritten 60 years of history of the Doctor, that they had given the middle finger to, to Whovians who have followed this franchise for decades uh, for a couple of uh, woke points, basically. And now Russell T. Davies, who I think was a fantastic showrunner, I loved his run on Doctor Who, is weighing in and saying that for other reasons, the BBC is not going to last. And a lot of that has to do with the nature of television. We know the BBC has been hurting that they are uh, like a half a billion US dollars behind in revenue. They've been trying to find you know different executives for BBC Studios, they can't find anyone who even wants the job. Nobody wants to work for the BBC. There have been rumors for months now that Doctor Who might finally get canceled. I know everybody says Doctor Who's gonna get canceled, is gonna get canceled, but given the ratings dropping off a cliff, given the fact that Jodie Whittaker is out as far as, as we know, she's leaving after the next series, uh, it doesn't look too good. The future does not look too promising. The BBC has to cut some corners. They have to cut expenses. And Doctor Who is a very expensive show. Now, Doctor Who was a more expensive show under Russell T. Davies and under Stephen Moffat. But, uh, you know, even budget cut Doctor Who is probably more expensive than what the BBC wants to spend. Uh, so this is Russell T. Davies weighing in. This is coming from The Guardian. Uh, he says, BBC faces oblivion despite TV drama Golden Age, says Russell T. Davies, uh, the screenwriter behind Doctor Who, Years and Years and It's a Sin, suggests that UK broadcasters are in peril. Uh, they, now, the BBC is teaming up with HBO Max. This seems to be where things are going, is that streaming is overtaking uh, network TV. And uh, the BBC has teamed up with HBO Max for some things, like His Dark Materials, which I hope to God they, they finish it. Uh, finally, you know, they started the movie, of, uh, you know, what about 15 years ago, 12 years ago, they never made a sequel to it. The movie was, eh, it was okay. The special effects were nice. I thought Nicole Kidman was pretty good, but it wasn't that great. I actually do like his dark materials quite a bit, uh, on HBO max, which is where I watch it. And I guess it's on the BBC across the pond, but, uh, you know, they are seeking uh, partners to co-finance. So it's possible that uh, the BBC could maybe work with uh, HBO to produce more Doctor Who, but they're going to have to get their shit together because this current incarnation of Doctor Who, this current showrunner, has run the show into the ground. He's completely crashed the TARDIS. Anyway, acclaimed screenwriter Russell T. Davies has said TV drama is enjoying a golden age, but claimed the BBC is heading for oblivion. Davies, who is behind hits such as the revived Doctor Who, Queer as Folk, Years and Years and Channel 4's It's a Sin suggested that UK broadcasters under threat from US streaming giants such as Netflix were in a perilous position. Davies made his comments when the podcast presenter Gabby Roslin asked him how he felt about being credited with saving television from extinction thanks to the success of his TV shows. He said the BBC, which has screened several, was heading for extinction right now in front of us but said we were experiencing a golden age for drama. The amount of author-owned personal drama pieces that are being broadcast is 10 times the number than in the 60s. Uh, people say play for today was the height of television. We're getting series like that every week now, not quite every week, but it's in a glorious state. That's true. I mean, there's a lot of stuff on streaming. Look at what Netflix is churning out. Look at what Hulu is churning out. Look at HBO Max. The state of broadcasters is not so magnificent. I've given up even fighting for it. He's given up. 
Davies has previously criticized the government for slashing funding to the BBC and treating it with contempt by failing to defend it against critics. Well, there's that whole licensing fiasco, and uh, depending on who you ask, it's a mess. It's a mess. Uh, I don't, I'm going to be completely honest, being an American, I don't completely understand it. Uh, but uh, a lot of our viewers who are in the UK don't think it's a very good system. They don't like to be forced to pay for television they, they don't like. Uh, he said that last year, the government was morally and profoundly opposed to the BBC while discussing the effect of the coronavirus pandemic on the television industry. He said his, repeat, his repeated warnings that the broadcaster was doomed had gone unheeded so long that... Uh, I'm now sitting back and thinking, I'll be 60 soon. I had the best of it. Well done. Bye-bye. So Russell T. Davies is talking about just noping out of television at this point. Davies said he welcomed the increased visibility that writers behind hits such as Happy Valley, Shameless, and I May Destroy You were receiving, hoping it inspired young people to consider writing as a career option. Good luck with that. Uh, you can sit home and think I'll be like Sally Wainwright, Paul Abbott, and uh, Michaela Cole. To be seen as a great thing it encourages children growing up to do the same thing. Uh, yada, yada. So he's talking about, you know, the show he's working on now. But yeah, he's basically like broadcast TV is over. The BBC is over. Like, what's the point? Russell T. Davies, uh, legendary Doctor Who showrunner, throwing his hands up in the air and saying it's, it's game over, guys. And I have to believe that this is probably going to happen. I think that they're probably going to cancel Who at some point unless HBO steps in. Because it is very expensive. And, um, you know, we've heard from Gary at Nerdrotic, according to his insiders over at the BBC, that this is on the table. Canceling Doctor Who or resting Doctor Who is on the table. They've done it before. We've seen the seasons come more sporadically. They, they tend to space them out more and with fewer episodes. Uh, series 13 is only going to have eight episodes, I guess. And it's going to come after a bit of a, a pause. We saw this during the Matt Smith era too, when things got very expensive they only put out like six or seven episodes a year. David Tennant, they kind of only put a couple of specials out until uh, Matt Smith came came on board. You know, so it is an expensive show. They're going to probably need somebody to co-finance it. And I guess my question to whoever picks up the mantle with Doctor Who is, are you going to make a show that actually sells merchandise? Are you going to make a show that actually brings back classic Who fans? And we're not talking about bringing back bastardized versions of who companions or who villains we're talking about a show that feels very authentically doctor who not like the show we've been getting for the last two years under chris chibnall and with uh, jody whittaker it feels like knockoff doctor who like so much pop culture it all feels like knockoff uh knockoffs of of uh you know much much better shows much much better movies and again you know so much of what we grew up loving the innovation has been lost. It's basically just become an IP that we slap on to something, a movie, a TV show, a book, whatever, and you're supposed to buy it because, you know, you love this thing, right? Even if we've changed everything about it, you still love it. And that's not the case. And people are leaving. They're leaving Doctor Who. They're leaving Star Wars. They're leaving Star Trek. Uh, they're leaving all these franchises that have survived for decades. They've, they've been destroyed in a matter of years. Very, very... A few years, like four or five years, is all it took to destroy Doctor Who, Star Trek, and Star Wars, among many others, Dungeons and Dragons, it could be argued. And uh, it's very, very sad. But at some point, you know, you just move on. You move on, you find something else, or you make something else. You know, if you're not finding what you want in pop culture, then you help make something new. Everything that we're watching right now, everything that has become mainstream at one point, had to fight to survive. Doctor Who did, Star Trek did, Star Wars did, Dungeons and Dragons did. It's time to start making new things again. And this might be the, the cue. We talk about this on the channel all the time. Watching these old franchises die. This might be the prompt that everybody needs to just move on. You know, grieve, remember the good old days, and move on. I'm gonna wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later.